Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, we reported some time ago that CentOS was dying. Uh, they put an end to it. Of course, CentOS 6, I believe, is dead today, I think, like completely. Uh, at least cPanel on CentOS 6 is completely dead today. Um, and outside of that, CentOS 7 will be continued to be supported for a few more years, and CentOS 8, they're killing at the end of the year. And so that, that was a, really a, a big thing, and it happened fairly suddenly in, in some people's eyes. And so in reality, this caused a lot of people to scramble around. I had did a video on this channel and I said, you know, in the open source Linux world, this isn't a huge deal. Something's going to come up and take its place. And uh, what we've seen is uh, a number of Linux distributions coming out. There have been a few other Linux distributions out there, but another one has just dropped yesterday with a new stable release, and that is Alma Linux. And they are promoting themselves as a direct drop-in replacement. In fact, I believe they even have some upgrade scripts. So if you're running an old version of CentOS, you can actually upgrade directly to this without anything else. I've not tested it. I've not even spun up this distribution. I just wanted to bring it to your attention today. So here is their website, which is at almalinux.org. And uh, this is actually their release announcement. So the stable release is now live. And uh, they just posted this out yesterday. And uh, this one is actually called Alma Linux 8. So um, either they're pulling their naming convention from something else or, um, or they've been working on development builds for a while. This is built from Cloud Linux, which was one of the other Linux distributions you could run cPanel on. But I do believe that one also has some extra costs associated with it. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about cPanel here because that is the most common platform that's used. No, it's not free and open source, but it is a very good platform. I use cPanel for about half my clients, and I've moved about half my clients over onto ISP Config, which is a free and open source. There's just times you need the simplicity of cPanel to make some things work on a publicly hosted website. And so really, that's uh, why I was having a look at other Linux distributions that can support it. Of course, cPanel said, hey, we're going to start supporting Ubuntu soon, which is also pretty big news as well. Um, but they actually did a, a whole video, and uh, on the Linux team, if you're watching this, I do need to fix your video here. You can't watch it on your website because of your YouTube settings. Um, but you do not have to be signed in to view it. The video is viewable over here on YouTube. Just click on the little YouTube button down there. And uh, they have about an hour and 19-minute live stream talking about it. And... Um, this is uh, this looks like it's going to be a direct replacement. It is based on uh, it is a, an open source Red Hat fork built by the team at Cloud Linux, and this is basically like uh, this is basically like the CentOS of Cloud Linux. So it should work with all of your Red Hat type resources. Should work with all your CentOS type resources, and they are promising a stable long term support for uh, forever free Linux distribution. And so definitely if you are in the market of this, if you're still scrambling to figure out what to do with CentOS, I believe they actually have ways to upgrade it. So CentOS like distribution based on precise Red Hat Linux clone, production ready and stable, matching Red Hat features, um, and enjoy the predictability of a stable release issued in tandem with Red Hat. You can effortlessly switch from CentOS. Switching distributions is usually costly and time consuming, but that's not the case when switching from CentOS to Alma. Linux switching is easy as uh, switching is easy and almost instantaneous. So you can actually use this rapid switch here, which is going to deploy that. And of course, significance for the people in my case where you're wanting to continue to use cPanel for some cases, cPanel is directly supported with Alma Linux 8, which is what this release version is. So over here, I mean, the red boxes are the warnings about the licensing. You do have to cover your, your licensing there. And then they just kind of cover everything that you need. And then you're all set to go. So if you are looking for a direct replacement drop-in for, uh, for CentOS, definitely have a look at Alma Linux. 
Uh, their website, again, is at almutlinux.org. Have a look at that. And apparently you can switch from CentOS. So if anybody uh, is looking for the, something like this, let me know down in the comments. I just want to get this brief video out to you guys today as uh, the rest of my day is falling into craziness. And so I won't be able to do anything else. <laughs> anyway, enjoy Alma Linux, guys. I will probably spin this up on a server if I can sometime soon and play around with it. I want to see what I can do with it. Uh, see if this is going to be a good thing because I jumped from my web servers from CentOS 6 to CentOS 7 to bridge me a few more years. I want to see if this is going to be a better longer term solution for me on my cPanel clients down the road. So uh, there we have it. If you are interested in uh, in hosting or in uh, website design or website management, definitely go ahead and just get a hold of me here on Switch to Linux. And that way I'll just migrate you over to my um, business web design account otherwise. So anyway, with that, thanks for watching, everybody. And we will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.